Hey guys, how's it going? This video I'll be reviewing the Game Boy EverDrive flash card. This is available on StoneAgeGamer.com. I'll put a link below. I think about other flash cards available on there as well. I've done reviews over N64, there's a Super Nintendo one, NES one, there's even a TurboGrafx-16 one, which is pretty sweet. I definitely want to pick that up soon. Uh, but there's a handful of other flash cards and what a flash card does, for those who may not know, is you're able to load games onto an SD card. In this case, the micro SD card, because the small cartridge, of course, and basically you can play ROMs off your original hardware. So it's not really emulating the games necessarily because it's playing on the original hardware. Uh, there's kind of mixed feelings in the community, whether these are, are good or bad. Um, I kind of can see both sides of the story. I can see how, uh, you know, for me personally, uh, these cards don't affect my collecting. Want to go out and get the games. You know, I still want uh, little Samson, <laughs> even though I have it on my, my flash cart, et cetera, so forth. But uh, it definitely allows you to play games that you may, may not be able to afford. It, play, it allows you to play games that you may not be able to get. And one thing I love about the original Game Boy is it's region free. So you can play games from Japan that may not have been released over here in the North America, in my situation. So I think there's certainly some positives to it, but uh, there's certainly a lot of people who, who purchase these flashcards and, and that's all they really want. They don't want to go out and get the games. But I don't think these flashcards has really affected the collecting market. I mean, you look at the prices of, of some of the games, uh, definitely hasn't affected that at all. So I can kind of see both sides of the story. Um, one thing I'm starting to do in my videos is ask you guys questions and I highlight a question. I'll, I'll answer that on my next video. A previous video I did an unboxing over the new Wii U uh, Mario Maker bundle from Walmart, which is exclusive with the Amiibo. And since I was, we were talking about Amiibos, I'd ask you guys what is your favorite Amiibo and what uh, Amiibo do you really want? And uh, Trevor Morgan, he actually had a great response. He says his favorite one is the 8-Bit Mario that just came out, and he really wants Little Mac. And it seems like a lot of people comment on there and really wanted Little Mac. It's like their most sought-after Amiibo, which great great choice, because Little Mac is definitely really cool. So thanks for answering that, guys. And in this video, I'm going to ask you, what do you guys feel about these flashcards? Are you guys for them? Are you guys against them? Either way, please leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think, and uh, I'll be reading those. So thanks for doing that. So without any further ado, uh, I'm going to show you kind of what's included in this bundle. I'm going to show you how this game actually works. So you get the owner's manual, you get a EverDrive sticker, Stone Age Gamer sticker, and here is what the cart looks like itself. Uh, the SD card actually goes to the very top like so. Uh, really easy uh, to learn. Now one thing I do want to mention is that you have to uh, format the SD card to a FAT32 or FAT32 and uh, the, the card wasn't formatted when I picked it up, so I had to do some research, and it was like a FAT16 or whatever. So um, just something you have to keep in mind. That was kind of a pain. Really easy, though. It took a couple minutes. Not a huge deal. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So if you get this game and you purchase SD card with it, it doesn't work right away, you need to format the card to work correctly, okay? And it, got, it came with a 2-gig uh, SD card, which honestly is in more than enough space you need for any of the games you probably really want to play. So let's take a closer look and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching. So this card is compatible on the following systems. The original Game Boy, you have your Game Boy Color, Game Boy Light, which was released in Japan in 1998. It's a backlit Game Boy, one of my favorite Game Boy systems actually, never released in North America. And two AA batteries will last 15, 20 hours of gameplay, which is cool. First Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Advance SP, Super Game Boy, and there's a Super Game Boy 2 as well that's compatible with. You cannot play Game Boy Advance games. You can't load them onto this card and play them through the SP. That just won't work, okay? Uh, some games like Pokemon that have real-time clocks and stuff will not work on this, okay? So just keep that in mind as well. So I'm gonna show you this thing on the Game Boy Light because it is backlit, it's a little easier to see on camera. Uh, this is where the micro SD card goes into like so. It is kind of hard to get in and out. It just clicks, you have to hit it. I have fat fingers, so maybe that's why. Clicks in right so. This is what it normally looks like without the backlit, and then you turn backlit. Bam. Pretty cool. So I have different folders set up here. I have Game Boy Color, Game Boy Games, Game Boy Color Games, and uh, a file says EDGB. That's where all the save files would go. So another benefit of having uh, these ROMs is you can save a game at any point of the game, which is pretty sweet, and it goes into this file. Uh, let's go with Game Boy Games. It's all alphabetical. So let's do Bonk's Adventure. I hit select, I can go to options. On some game, I got the cheat codes, so there's a built-in game genie as well. So that's another benefit of having this. You can put in your own uh, codes. I don't know any codes for Bonk's Adventure, but that's pretty cool. You go to options, you can change the mappers, you can do uh, 
There's your information about the size of the, the ROM. You can go to save. You can see a yes. I want to have an auto save. Let's click on it. See how long it takes. It depends on the, the load times. This one's a fairly small file, but Game Boy Color games will definitely take longer to load. So just keep that in mind. It's a classic. This game's a lot more common on the Game Boy than it is on the NES. Original came out for TurboGrafx 16. I'm playing through my camera, so it's kind of hard. You can see the backlit, though, how much of a difference it makes. <laughs> it's huge. So definitely, if you can get a Game Boy Light, I would definitely recommend it. Let's reset it. You got to completely power it off and on again to reset to go back to the, the main screen. Show you some another game here real quick. Got all the Mega Man. Here's a hidden gem. Motocross Maniacs. If you like Excite Bike, check this one out. I think this is done by Konami. This is an early game release for the original Game Boy, and I had this growing up. Yep, indeed, Konami. But you can do like loop de loop upside down and stuff. Pretty cool. So if you like, if you like Excite Bike, this is definitely a game to check out. Almost the sound and everything. I'm doing terrible because I'm playing through my. Point to my uh, camera here. So I have a boost, a single boost. So rather than like an excite bike, I can just power it once. Definitely a cool game. So now let's show you some Game Boy Color games. I'll put that on my SP here. This is definitely my favorite model of the SP. The Game Nintendo one. So I have all these games here. Try Space Invaders. See, it takes a little bit longer for the Game Boy Color games. Turn up the volume. I love the classic uh, Space Invaders. Very, very similar, but you can fire from both, both top and bottom or from sides as well. So if you like the original Space Invaders, this is definitely one to check out. Let's reset it. Do Star Wars Episode One. I love the Game Boy Color when it first came out, man. <laughs> this is funny. How do I get the heart? I can't get it. That's weird. That's where it takes me out here too. Anyway, you guys can get the idea. So what do you guys think about... Let me turn this off. So yeah, you guys can definitely get the idea. So what do you guys think of this cart? Uh, let me know if you guys plan on getting it. Do you guys have a flash cart for the system? Let me know. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you guys soon, and take care. First off, guys, thank you so much for watching. Also, please subscribe. That means a lot. And if you want to stay in contact, you can follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. I also have a website, games 31com and I have T-shirts available to help support the show as well. And those are available at chopshopgoods.com.